Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out here at Ballyon Golf Club, number one ranked public course in New Jersey. I'm really excited for this one because I had a good round here last year. Hoping to do the same again today, so let's get after it. Okay guys, first hole, it's about 390 yards or so. Uh, I'm gonna hit a three wood, just play for position straight out in the middle of the fairway. All right, we'll see. It looked like it was a little close to some of the bunkers up there. Okay, I pulled that tee shot pretty far left here, but I just stayed in play outside this long rough. I got 60 yards to the pin. I'm gonna try to hoist something up there and try to land it soft. Set. All right, that flew a little bit longer than I wanted to, but at least we're on the green. Slow down. Oh, all right. Oh, that was dead straight. All right, Part of, or bogey to start. Not exactly what I was looking for. That putt was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. The practice green was definitely much slower. So we'll adjust, get back on the right track, on to hole two. All right guys, hole number two, 342 yards, par four. It is drivable, but the wind is really into my face right now, so I'm not thinking I'm gonna drive the green here. I'm gonna play it a little bit safer and just out to the right. Oh, it's right where I am, straight out. Hopefully it sits a little. Sit. Yeah, I just ran through the fairway up on a hill. That's all right, it's safe. All right, they definitely busted out the Sunday pins here. This one is tucked in the front left. I'm coming off a down slope, 60 yards. I'm gonna play this out to the right. I'm not really gonna try to get too fancy. Go. Sit, oh no. All right, got another long putt. Hopefully it's better than the last one. Okay guys, I got about 70 feet here. Gotta go up a hill. Sloping left to right, then down a hill. I'll be quite pleased if I can two-putt this. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Well, I had a great read on it. Just left myself another eight-footer coming back up the hill. Oh, it's a rough start, bogey bogey. On to the third. All right, hole three guys, 567 yard, par five. Just gonna try to get this out there in the fairway, give myself a chance of getting on on two. It's fading, hopefully it's got enough distance to get over those bunkers on the right. I think it cleared the bunkers on the right, we'll have to see. All right, I got about 260 to get to the front of the green. There is a bunker up there, but I'm not too worried about it. Well, that's the risk I ran. Now we got a long third shot in. All right, 193 to the pin, but I'm going right into the wind. Um, I gotta clear this lip here, so I gotta take enough loft. I'm gonna hit a five iron, but I'm not quite sure if it's enough to get, get all the way up there. We'll see. All right. Making a mess out of this par five. Let's just try to not make a triple. <laughs> All right, 177 to the pin now. I'm gaining on it, 20 yards at a time. It's my fourth shot, so I could still get up and down for a par. And it's going a little right, get over the bunker. All right, guys, I haven't given up here. I'm gonna try to hold this for a, for a par. Whoops. All right, fourth bogey. Please be decent. Let this torture end. All right, 
I busted out the Spalding putter from last video because I was doing pretty well with that and I've already three putted twice today. This is for a double. Yeah, not quite. All right, so obviously that was a horrible hole. I got a triple bogey, but you know, the thing I need to remember here is that all of that was caused by one bad decision, and that was the three wood out of the rough, trying to hit it 270. If I had just hit a nine iron, I would have had, you know, maybe a 120 in, could have hit another one, I'd be putting for birdie. So I think I need to make some better decisions. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it because from that one decision, I was just completely put out of position the rest of the hole. So moving on to the fourth, gonna try to put the first three holes behind me. All right, fourth hole here, guys, 200 yards to the pin, par three, into the wind. Normally, I'd hit a hybrid. I'm afraid that the hybrid would come up short, so I'm gonna hit a four iron. It's online. Hopefully, it's got enough to get there. A little high. All right. Around the green. About 35 feet here for the birdie. I'm gonna try to give this one a run. Why not? Oh, it's gotta get harder. Oh, they're not too bad though. Okay, that keeps me to five over after four holes. Got a par five coming up. Okay, fifth hole, par five, about 500 and some odd yards. Just gonna take the driver, put a nice swing on it. Try to hit a fairway here. There we go, right down the middle. It's perfect. Okay, second shot here on the fifth. Uh, had a beautiful drive there, it's about 300 yards right up the middle. Left myself about 220 in. Gonna go with a five wood. Oh, it's fading to the right. Don't go in the bunker. All right guys, it pains me to do this, but this is such a bad lie right up against the lip. I need to play it out sideways. So I want to try to limit the mistakes like I did on that the last par five. Okay. Okay, I just got a little pitch shot about 30 yards for the fourth shot. I'm gonna try to get this close, make my par. Yeah, that was pretty solid. Played a little low nipper. Checked up nicely. All right, I'm really happy with that. You know, I made the smart decision there in the bunker. I was able to get it up and down with a really nice pitch shot and a solid putt. All right, six hole, 200 yard par three over water. I have bad memories here from last time. But I'm gonna put those out of my mind. Hitting another four iron because it's slightly into wind again. Yeah, fair to say that's in the water. All right, gotta go to the drop zone. Taking my ball here in the drop zone for my third. Got 90 yards to the pin. I'm gonna try to stick this one close. Go in. Well, I couldn't have asked for much better from here, so let's see if we can make a bogey. That was a great pitch shot from the drop zone, uh, so I'm really happy about that. Bless you. On to the seventh. Seventh hole here, about 473 yards, I think it is. Uh, just gonna hit a driver, try to hit it out there straight in the middle of the fairway. Yep, up the left side. Should be pretty solid. Okay, about 150 to the pin. 145 to get over the lip of the bunker. I know that this is gonna roll out. Uh, it's a little into wind. I'm gonna go with a nine iron, because I think if I went with an eight, I might be going over when it hits and rolls out. A little risky here. Don't wanna come up short, but if I wanna get it close, it's gotta be a nine.
quita él quita él Yeah, that was a great shot. I think I put it to like eight feet. Okay, first legitimate birdie chance of the day here. Let's see if I can roll this one in. All right. That keeps me to six over par through seven holes onto the eighth. All right, eighth hole here, guys. Par four, 420 yards. Dog leg right, it's just a driver in hand, let her fly. Uh oh. All right, I got 100 yards here for my second. They really got the Sunday pins out. I mean, look at how tight that is on the left. I gotta get it up on that second shelf. So I gotta fly this at least 95. Let's see what we can do. Go, get up, get up. Oh, that's it. <laughs> All right, I will take that. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. All right, got a big breaker here from left to right, about 15 feet for the birdie. Be nice to make this one, but it's a little bit of a tricky putt. I think that was the right line. I just hit it way too hard. All right, another par there. Last hole, the front nine. See if we can make a birdie. Come on, it's been too long. All right, last hole, the front nine here, 423 yard par four into a pretty steady wind. I'm gonna try to keep this low, but I might end up playing a little bit of a fade if it's into wind. Yep, that's perfect. It's gonna be right down the middle of the fairway. Baby fade, perfect. All right, 156 left into the ninth, kind of into the wind off the left. So I'm gonna play it kind of at the center of the green and just let it fade. Nah, didn't catch that very well. It's gonna be a little short to the right, I think. We can get that up and down for a par. All right, so I was a little uncomfortable over that shot, so I hit a second one and I stuck it to like six feet. Instead, now I've got a very difficult chip. But we'll see what we can do. Try to get up and down for a par. All right, so I'm not really even sure if this is the right play, but I'm gonna take a sand wedge. The other option here is to hit something low and run it up, or even a putter. I don't really practice that, so we'll see how this one works out. Maybe I'll learn a lesson here. Nope, that's it. Yeah, I tried to get a little too cute with that and spin it. All right, not terrible from there. No, I pushed that. All right, that one's a shame. You probably saw me putt that birdie putt and sure enough, I made it, but instead I think I made a double bogey there. Uh, so that just goes to show you one shot. I think on a lot of those holes, it was one shot that really added up. Hopefully on the back nine, we're gonna do a little bit better. So if you guys enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video of the back nine. See you then.